As the only wide-body airliner on the static display, the newly certified A350-1000 takes top billing here in Singapore, where it flew in from Hanoi as part of a 12-city tour of Asia and the Middle East. One of the stops on the tour was the Doha base of launch customer Qatar Airways. Every stop, every flight we perform at our customer's base, we have the same feedback. The airlines love the aircraft and the pilots are in love with all the new systems on board, the futuristic cockpit design. It's, uh, it's a very nice aeroplane to fly, uh, very similar to the 900 from a flying a handling qualities perspective. I think pilots that transition from 900 to 1000 really won't notice much different. The cockpit is, uh, is very, very similar. I think one of the obvious features when you look at the cockpit is at the large screens and the way that we've designed the avionics architecture. And it allows the pilots to interact in a way um, that's much improved for uh, obtaining information, for sharing information. Now we can bring our charts to the center. I can select a chart, for example, and then I can br brief a departure or arrival with my colleague and leave my FMS screens outboard for a normal flight operation. You can access all four screens with the cursor keyboard control unit, but we've also introduced as an option touchscreen capability on the outboard screens and the center screen. There is a common type rating that is shared with the A330neo, A330CEO family, the rest of the A330 family in service today. And there's only an eight days training for a licensed A330 pilot to become an A330 slash A350 pilot. Built as a modern and more efficient replacement for the Boeing 777-300ER, the Airbus A350-1000 fills what the European airframer believes became a gap in the legacy 777's capacity range, left when its US competitor decided to start with a baseline of more than 400 seats for its 777X. We have very good economics for this uh, aircraft model. Uh, we reduced by 25% the cash operating cost uh, compared to uh, existing competitor airplanes we are set to replace. And as you know, this is a family of long haul airplanes and flights are getting longer. The trans-Pacific traffic is developing extremely fast. Asia is the most dynamic region for traffic growth and the traffic will triple in the next 20 years in Asia. So we need to be prepared for this. So we have developed with uh, uh, this A350XWB the most efficient airplane, the most comfortable airplane, so the best aircraft adapted to tomorrow's economics and tomorrow's expectations for comfort. The aircraft will carry 366 passengers in a typical three-class configuration, or 40 more than the A350-900 holds the aircraft could potentially carry up to 440 passengers. Customers love the airspace cabin on board the 350. It is a spacious cabin, you can see around you. The ceilings are very high. The space is really open. We offer in economy a comfort economy seating, that is to say 18 inch wide seats uh, between armrests in a nine abreast configuration. Another very important thing is that uh, the noise level in the cabin is the lowest for all twin eyes in the world. So this is the quietest twin eye aircraft existing. Another thing is uh, the air in the cabin is renewed every two to three minutes. The 1000 features an extended wing trailing edge for lower approach speeds, new six wheel main landing gear to accommodate its higher weight, and of course, more powerful Rolls-Royce Trent XWB 97 engines. It can fly to a range of 7,950 nautical miles, allowing it to support routes for emerging markets, such as Shanghai to Boston or Paris to Santiago, Chile, as well as more traditional flight segments as Manchester to Los Angeles or Dubai to Melbourne.